Welcome down to Fort Park and welcome to Hyperio. A few days after our last update, more has happened on site as expected. Now it's really, really ramping up. Sunday today, they are working. They are working today on a Sunday as well in the station as we speak. And it is, uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't think I'd see him working today. But what have we got for you today? Well, we've got some more station decor. We've seen that. We've got some more supports and we've had a new track installed as well. So let's get some shots of what's happened on the Hyperio site over the last couple of days. We are going to start off today's update down this end with the track. Now, last time we were here, they had just installed this piece of track here, which we'll take another look at because there's loads and loads of supports which have gone around it as well in preparation for the rest of the drop to be installed. So we're going to take a closer look at that and indeed a new piece of track you may see here, which forms the final part of the stall loop. I think there's just one piece left to go in. So let's start off with this, get some close up shots of what's going on. As we said last time, you see how clear the actual site is. Just look at the angle. I mean, we know that one's inverted, but the twist going into this one is something else. It really, really is. That's just incredible to look at. It really, really is. So as you can see, the bit we saw last time was this piece of track going here, and the structure has got larger with that. Obviously, as we look for more of the first drop to come down, but the head chopper effect of the drop and some of the elements, especially this new piece of track, uh, we've just given you some close-ups of it. We'll get it back into shot now. But if you look at this piece coming up here, I mean, I knew it was going to be obviously a hang effect. It's, it's a stall loop, but I actually did think it would start twisting a little bit quicker than what it is, to be honest with you, because you're still going to be pretty much upside down as you come down to this final point. And the twist back is just another insane piece of track. Just another insane piece of track. It's quite something. Oh, I genuinely can't wait for this. And then as we look over here as well, you can see it much clearer now for brackets for the lift hill. Uh, the lift hill is definitely going to go at an angle. I, I would probably say it's going to be about 60 degrees as it heads upwards. Oh, yeah, something else. Something else. Right, we'll get you some more close shots of this before heading down and checking out the work that's ongoing on the station area.
Now, of course, last time they were cutting and finishing the side of the building. We did point out the stairs which were stored here, actually. Some of it is still stored here. And that's making now the exit to the station, which I assume will go back under the track here, rather than around the back of the shed, and back out to the ride. As we did say, the land is actually really, really clear now completely flattened down and as we look up we can look at the new track and support installation now we did say around the other side of the station and we will show you again shortly that electrics haven't started being installed yet and that is very much the case over here as well everything's in place but thus far nothing is in and then a look over to the maintenance shed area and of course the awesome angle turn coming out of the coming out of the station building it's going to be quite something over at the exit to the lift hill nothing's changed in the track respect or indeed cabling yet although cabling's in place none of the boxes have started to be installed fully over the excavation and you can even see the drainage points as well are in place which definitely means this will be water right up to here now of course we can see the start of the lift hill it's not long now before that goes in we'll talk about that shortly and of course the retail unit down the back which has had another layer on top of the roofing but yeah coming along nicely There we have it, we finish off with the shot of the drop there, or part the drop of course, there's still another 75, 80 foot to go of that, can't wait for it to go up. Now we have heard that the lift hill will start in station in the next sort of 10 to 14 days, we would be expecting that to happen, it does require a separate crane on site quite high as you can imagine at 236 feet but that is going to be something to behold as that the rest of the structure goes up whether or not they complete the final bit of track first on the stall turn I think would depend on, uh, on what kind of access they need for the crane because it's quite a large space to get in and out and swing things around that said though at the same time um, can't see any track on site at the moment at all uh, no track on site doesn't seem to be anything there now we know it's all obviously on premises but they have got to bring that down too so still quite a lot of work to go on that front if you've liked this video please 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 drop it a like it means the world to us and helps us against the youtube algorithm as well thank you for joining us here on uk theme parks we will be back next week for another hyperia update so be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay with us for the latest